Hey everyone, Fuzzy Bear Barian here again, and this time with another farming video for Marvel's Avengers. This one is farming a gold chest. What you want to do is go to the Pacific Northwest and then go to the left of that, which is the Snowy Tundra. Choose the Snowy Tundra Vault on Elite Mission and put it to the highest possible difficulty. Now you definitely need it on the highest possible difficulty because that will guarantee you your epic or legendary piece of gear. I ran this 50 times just so I could co collect some stats and in that 50 times, 8 times I didn't get a piece of gear but in the other 42 times I got 18 legendaries and 24 epics. So that, was a, that worked out to be a 36% chance of getting a legendary every run and if you consider the epics in there as well then an 80% chance that you would get either a legendary or epic piece of gear every single run. And given that you can pretty much do this run every three and a bit minutes or so you can do about 20 runs per hour and that will guarantee you probably five, six legendaries and maybe eight, nine, 9, 10 epics, so not a bad way to get legendary and epic gear. Alright, so we've landed on the snowy tundra, so just follow me, it's not difficult, just follow the path that I'm running to and then we just have to unlock the door that the gold chest is behind. Just bear in mind that RNG is RNG and I'm just one person and I can only run this so many times but I think my stats are going to be pretty accurate for everyone. I think the rate at which, so long as you do this on the highest difficulty, the rate at which you'll get epic and legendary is going to be the same as mine and in any case I guarantee you 100% certainty that you'll never get a blue, you will always get an epic or a legendary piece of gear from this chest if you get a piece of gear on the very small chance you can run and get no piece of gear and just resources which sucks but that's Marvel's Avengers farming for you. So we're coming up to where the chest is it's in this building directly ahead each time you run this the type of puzzle you have to solve to open the door will be different there are three possible versions of this one is these buttons on the wall there's always two on the back and then if you climb up the top or jump around the front and then go up top, there's always two up the top. Sometimes an enemy will hassle you, but often you can just ignore them. Once you've opened door four, you can just drop straight down and the gold chest is in here. So what are we going to get? We're going to get some... It's very good for resources, units and comics and upgrade modules. Oh, there we go. We got a legendary piece of gear. I'll also open this blue... Uh, chest there, that's a DNA box, you need a DNA key to open it. I got another legendary from that which is pretty good. Uh, those DNA boxes, to get the DNA keys you need to get them by killing villains when you do the daily faction mission uh, to kill a villain. Villains drop the, or the faction villains drop the DNA key so you can open that box. And once you've got your gear, all you have to do is return to the Quinjet, go back to the war table and fire it up again. Just bear in mind, you do have to set the challenge difficulty to the most difficult challenge again. Uh, it always defaults to normal, which is annoying, but that's what you have to do. Now there are other ways to farm gear in Marvel's Avengers. I've posted a few farming uh, videos myself. But most of those farming methods either come with a lot of time investment or a lot of blues can drop or some of them you have a good chance at getting gear but you have no chance at getting resources but the gear you get might be blues and so on. There's no perfect farming run if you're chasing legendary and epic gear to make, make your perfect build. However, if you farm gold chests, gold chests on the highest difficulty give you that greatest chance at getting both epic and legendary gear as well as resources. So in, even when you miss out on getting the gear that you specifically want, if you don't get the rolls you want, or you don't get a legendary and you get an epic instead, you're still going, or even if you don't get legendary or epic at all, you're still going to get a ton of resources, especially upgrade modules and that sort of thing. Now I'll be the first to admit this is kind of mind-numbingly stupid to have to do this but you know they've taken the the bungee destiny approach to making the best stats on the best gear extremely difficult to get. You've got so many different stats on an individual item of gear that all have to you know the stars have to align for you to get the perfect piece of gear so if you're chasing the perfect piece of gear then running 10, 15, 20 minute long missions and hoping that a legendary or, an, or a couple of epics drop is really not the way to go. This is absolutely the best way to go if you're chasing the perfect piece of gear. 
If you're trying to power level or you're just chasing gear but you're not really too fussed about getting a legendary or epic piece for your build then this isn't something you would do. There's better farming runs for that. You can check out some of my other videos for that. Alright so this is a, another a, a different spawn version, a different puzzle. It has these punchable things. By this stage of the game, if you're farming for the perfect build, you know what these are. And the four to open the door here, they're just all around the base. There's one at the front and three at the back. Pretty easy to deal with. So three at the back, and then there's one on the left of the door around the front. Right there. Alright, so, oh well, there we go, another legendary, so on this run, I think it's been 100% rate, oh, uh, the DNA box reduced that percent rate, but it's not 100% to get legendaries, this is making the run look better than it is, if I'm perfectly honest. Uh, like I said at the start of the video, you've got a, I, I had a 36% legendary drop rate, but I would say, probably on, err on the side of the caution, one in, one in three, one in three runs will get you a legendary, I've had more here than, I've, I've been pretty lucky while I'm making this video, but don't expect to get nothing but legendaries is what I'm saying. One thing this farming run isn't great for is minor artifacts. You can get minor artifacts, but the, the percentage chance of getting them out of the gold chest is pretty low. The gold chest does have some unique minor artifacts though, the kind that give you more resources from opening chests, so that's pretty cool. And I've also received artif minor artifacts from the gold chest that help you get more gear at the end of completing challenge two or higher missions, so that's also pretty cool. But if you're chasing minor artifacts, you definitely don't want to do this farming run because the, the percentage chance is low. For those, you're better off doing the bunker runs where you get vault resources. Check out my best gear farm videos. I've got two up with that name. You can check them out. The best gear farm updated is pretty good uh, for minor artifacts, so check that video out and if that's what you're chasing. As far as other farming methods for getting epic and legendary gear, uh, the only way you can guarantee epic and legendary gear is on the highest difficulty with gold boxes. Elite hives are pretty good for dropping gear, but you can always run those and just get blues if you're unlucky. There's also another mission where you can force respawn a high value target who has a reasonable chance of dropping legendaries. It's pretty low chance, but he does drop legendaries every... I don't know, five or ten kills maybe, and you can respawn him every every minute or two. He also can drop epics, but he tends to, I find, drop 90% blues, which just frustrates the hell out of me. If I'm farming for epic and legendary gear, I want to make sure that every minute counts, which is why I really prefer this gold chest farm run than any other for that purpose, especially right now because I'm trying to make my final Hulk build and even now, even running on the highest level difficulties, I actually have a blue in my first slot because I'm yet to find an epic or a legendary item with the stats on it that um, are better than the stats I have on the blue. So I guess with that said, don't always give up on blues. You're not getting any blues from this gold chest, but you know, always if you're running other missions, always check your blues because sometimes the combination of stats on those can give you more melee damage, more heroic power, and also give you the actual perks that you want that you might not be lucky enough to get on other gear. And that's why I specifically say you only run gold chest farm routes if you're specifically trying to replace the gear you've got with the perfect gear you want for your build and legendary and epic is obviously going to factor into that so okay this is the third one we've done and we got those damn buttons again i was hoping to get the third type of uh, puzzle spawn you can get which is you don't really need me to show you there's just four plates that you stand on to open the door three plates one plate will be where i am right now on the roof and the other three will be at the front front of the door so yeah four plates to stand on if you get that spawn i didn't get it here but you don't really need me to show you that you'll have done a million of those by the time you start farming this gold chest all right so we got some resources units comic found and an epic piece of gear so okay that was uh two legendaries from the gold chest <laughs> two legendaries from the dna box and then the rest were epics so you can see it's a pretty good run for that 
So for getting legendary and epic gear, this is my preferred farming run. It's very fast and you're guaranteed 80% of the time to get one of those two types of gear. But if you know a better one where you can guarantee an epic or a legendary piece of gear in under three minutes, then that would be phenomenal. Please share it in the comments below and I'd love to take a look at it. Otherwise, for now, this is the best farming run I know of for this type of gear. All right, I'm Fuzzy Barbarian. That's it for another farming run video. If this has been of uh, help to you in any way, please like, subscribe, and let me know. Until the next video, bye for now.